Mom leaves for the weekend, comes home to find husband's surprise. She knew something was up. The minute she pulled up to the house, the signs were everywhere, and when she got out of the car and saw them standing around nervously, it was all over their faces. Her mothering instinct was screaming at her as she scrutinized her husband's eyes, trying to determine what they had done. The panicked expression she found there told her everything she needed to know. Miles and Katie Boyer lived in Springfield, Missouri and had three children, James, Camille, and Lawson. Kate decided that she needed a vacation from the full-time job of raising three kids, but she was hesitant about leaving them alone with their father for an entire weekend. When she voiced her concerns to her husband, Miles, she saw a glint in his eye that she couldn't quite explain. Was he happy that she was leaving, and could he cope without her? Miles watched his wife roll down the drive and away to her destination, and the mischievous glint in his eye only intensified as he and the kids waved goodbye. He tossed the to-do list Kate had left him on the counter. Finally, she was gone and he had absolute freedom, and he intended to enjoy every second of it. But first, he needed to get a few supplies. Miles loaded the children into the SUV. The first stop was the local Walmart. Lawson looked dumbfounded as his father threw item after item into the cart, happily whistling all the time. Looking from the quickly filling trolley to his dad and then back again, he started to ask a question. But all he got in reply was a wry smile and a shushing finger on his lips. Lawson glanced at his older sister Camille, but she didn't seem to notice their dad's strange behavior. She walked alongside the shopping cart, lost deep in thought. What did this dad need all of this strange stuff for, and why was he being so secretive? Maybe his brother James would have the answer. But James was in a world of his own, dashing to and fro, through the aisles, giddy with excitement as he eyed the colorful boxes stacked ceiling high. Lawson looked on with a worried expression on his face. He knew from his many shopping excursions with their mom that James's behavior was about to escalate beyond control. Their dad continued to walk like a man on a mission, avoiding the toy aisle and the food aisles with a determination and a sense of purpose. He had come this far. He had just hoped he had the strength to follow through with his daring plan. All the while he wondered, would he get away with it? So far, so good, Miles thought. He had almost completed his secret shopping list, and the children had been angels. So far, Kate must have been exaggerating, he thought, smiling. Any questions they had, he would wave away. It was important that his intentions were kept secret. He tossed another hammer into the cart, and that's when all hell broke loose. And there it was. James started to wail uncontrollably, and Miles felt his heart sink. The fabled public meltdown, he had done his best to avoid was finally upon him. Boredom and blood sugar had taken a toll on James. And it was everything Kate had described and more. Miles rushed over to his son and tried to quiet him down. Shoppers walked past and tut-tutted disapprovingly, and he felt a flush bloom on his face. He'd have to resort to dirty tricks to get their eight-year-old James to comply, and with a flash, he retrieved something from his pocket. How about a snack? Miles asked, hopefully. He expertly pulled the wrapper off of one of the Twinkies he had loaded into his pockets before they had left. James nodded agreeably as he reached for it, tears forgotten, at least for the time being. Miles sighed, crisis averted. Now it was time to get back to the task at hand. He proceeded to the checkout line with his furtive load and brood of three in tow, but had the unwitting father bitten off more than he could chew? As any mother would know, leaving their kids and hubby at home for the weekend could have disastrous consequences. Kate was fully prepared to have to clean more than a few messes when she returned from her trip. But she prayed that the house would look the same as when she left it, more or less. If she could just see what Miles was doing in her absence, she may have rethought her weekend trip. You see, Miles had a grand idea as he diligently got to work on the master bedroom. He dismantled all of the furniture that Kate had so carefully picked out and moved it away. Then he started to tear up the carpet. The children watched in awe as sheets of concrete floor began to expose themselves. What was he doing? Miles was growing worried now, but it was too late to change his mind. So with a reckless tenacity, he continued on with the plan. Foolhardy, as that plan may have been, he was determined. 
Any minute now, Kate could walk through the door. What would she think about what he had done to their bedroom? Miles removed the old brown carpet and began to paint the walls. He worked late into the night, only stopping to make sure the kids had eaten and were bathed before putting them to bed. Then he hauled an enormous load of timber in. He knew he had to lay it down, just right. When the paint on the walls had dried, he set about laying the new floor. Then he polished the beautiful wood until it gleamed. The next morning, Lawson, James, and Camille were beside themselves with the result. With excited yells, they exclaimed that the room now looked like a dance studio. With no furniture to get in the way, they took turns spinning on their toes and pirouetting on the smooth floorboards. Next, Miles began to return the pieces of furniture back to their rightful places, but not without making a few modifications of his own. He hammered, glued, and cut an enormous rectangular slat of wood before covering it with a piece of material he had carefully picked out. He attached it to the wall and constructed a new headboard for the outdated wooden sleigh-shaped bed. Finally, he was ready to focus on the finer details of the master bedroom. He didn't want a single item to be out of place for the big reveal. Miles stood back and admired his handiwork, but the most important judge was still to come, his wife. But would she appreciate what he has done to the bedroom while she was away? Late on Sunday afternoon, he heard her pull into the driveway and could barely contain his excitement. Dashing to the front door, he lined the children up to greet her. Kate's sixth sense kicked in the moment she saw her family waiting to greet her. Miles had a look on his face that she couldn't quite read, but she knew something was up when he led her upstairs to the bedroom. Kate stood in the doorway, dumbstruck. When she had left, she thought that her husband would keep the house in one piece but now she had come home to this. Miles had done the impossible. Kate squealed and threw her hands up to her face. The camera recorded every emotion as it showed, from bewilderment to awe and then to happy tears. The bedroom had been completely transformed, and it looked absolutely stunning. Gone was the outdated and stained carpet, replaced with new hardwood floors. The walls were freshly painted a shade of cream and gave off a new warmth that made Kate exhale with delight. What the heck? She asked in amazement. The complete bedroom makeover had been a long time dream of Kate's. The Boyers had bought a beautiful old farmhouse with all of their savings, but because the house had been originally built in 1891, there was a lot of work that needed to be done. Unable to afford a contractor, Miles resolved to renovate the house himself. But with full-time jobs and children to look after, Miles and Kate's bedroom renovation found itself on the bottom of the list. So when Kate went away for the weekend, Miles saw his chance to pull off the biggest surprise for Kate yet, and what could be a better gift for his wife than a brand new bedroom? Miles had put blood, sweat, and tears into the renovation, as well as his heart. Her reaction when she returned home made it worth all the hard work, he said in an interview. By the end of the weekend, Miles had replaced the old and wrinkled carpet, laid down a beautiful new floor, replaced the curtains, repainted the entire room, replaced the wall sockets, and built a trendy new headboard from scratch. Not only did he have a complete remodel to contend with, but he also had three children to look after. What an amazing feat. Miles's entire remodel can be watched on a time-lapse video he uploaded to Rumble, and it's been viewed over a million times. People can't get enough of Kate's husband's heartwarming surprise for his wife. And Kate's expression in the video says it all. She is thrilled with her newly revamped bedroom. It was certainly a move-that-bus moment.